We're going to move on now to our conversation with Scott McFarland, our congressional correspondent. Scott, thanks for being here. What is the latest congressional reaction to Olivia's reporting and others at CBS News on this important story? There's obvious bipartisan alarm about what might have been exposed. But if you get down to the uh, more granular level of congressional reaction, you can see some contrast. Bob, we spoke with a staffer for Mark Warner, top Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee, says he's being briefed tonight, warns about Russian disinformation. Chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, or pardon me, the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Michael McCall of Texas, says any breach of classified material serious, especially when sources and methods are identified, and he urges the Biden administration to investigate and move quickly to identify the leaker. And the top Republican on the House Armed Services Committee, Mike Rogers, also issued a statement somewhat symmetrical to what Mr. McCall said, that the administration has to brief Congress. Mr. Rogers says the leaks are concerning and the committee is seeking answers from the administration, from the Department of Defense. Bob, Congress wants more answers. Those briefings have begun on Capitol Hill. Again, the Senate Intelligence Committee expects to get theirs Monday evening. Scott, turning to another front. A new Pew Research Center study released Thursday shows that gun deaths among children and teens under the age of 18 is up 50 percent from the years 2019 to 2021. These figures come from the latest annual mortality numbers by the CDC. Scott, in spite of Washington's paralysis politically on gun legislation, after another mass shooting today in Louisville, Kentucky, what realistically could come out of Congress on this issue? Two things for sure legislation and hearings, but that third thing is missing, which is new law that actually can pass a divided Congress. We spoke with the Senate chaplain, Barry Black, who's held that position for 20 years, Bob, and after the shootings in Nashville at the church school, Chaplain Black spoke out. During his daily prayer at the Senate, he said thoughts and prayers are not sufficient, that Congress needs to take action. Hear more now from Chaplain Barry Black. 20 years you've been doing this, have you noticed a deterioration or a coarsening of how our politicians talk to each other or talk to us? The senators represent their people. <laughs> have we noticed a difference the way our people, our citizens talk to one another? You know, we, we have extremism compounding extremism. We have dueling echo chambers. We have people who are inspired um, to do mass shootings in a competitive way. Can I get more than Columbine? Can I get more than Orlando? Can I get more than Las Vegas? This is insanity. The chaplain is there to counsel, give advice to U.S. senators, to give a daily prayer, but he recognizes what we all recognize, Bob. There's no road ahead towards new legislation on this issue, not in this Congress and not at this moment. Scott McFarland, thank you.